Let's start with that meningitis health alert. There's an outbreak in Florida right now. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. Tonight we are on track to see far more meningitis cases than average this year. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen talked to two health experts who explained what you can expect and how you can take care of yourself. This is nothing to mess around with. Meningococcal disease, rare but dangerous. So even with aggressive achievement, people can still lose limbs. They can still lose their life. Already this year, Florida has seen more cases than we would typically see in an entire year. According to Florida Department of Health data this year, 21 cases of meningococcal disease have been reported from 10 counties with Orange, Leon and Lake counties reporting the most. They say this particular outbreak is predominantly spreading among gay and bisexual men. Unfortunately, what seems to be happening here is that's the population that was struck first. There's nothing special about, about Neisseria that it particularly wants to spread in that population. The disease is spread through close, prolonged contact. It can be caught through kissing or sharing drinks. We actually worry around the universities because uh, university can be a pretty good environment for meningitis to spread. At the University of South Florida, where Roberts teaches, a 19-year-old student died in 2007 after contracting the disease. 10 Tampa Bay spoke with her mother at the time. It's just she was ripped from her life. And you can't, you know, you just have a hard time accepting that. Meningococcal disease is vaccine preventable. The number one prevention by cl is clearly vaccination. Dr. David Berger is a board certified pediatrician who says kids should get the vaccine around age 11 or 12, then boosted at 16 or 17. The pandemic may have put some people behind on their shots. A lot of people missed their checkups and stuff like that during the two years. So even people who um, were wishing to vaccine, a lot of kids are also behind because of that. In addition to local health care providers, your local Department of Health offers meningococcal vaccines. We want to stress this is a rare but potentially devastating disease. Early symptoms of this disease includes fever, headaches, stiff neck, nausea, vomiting, light sensitivity, confusion and rash. Here's a look at meningitis cases over the last five years in Florida. According to the Department of Health, there were 27 cases last year, which was the most we have seen in the state.